Hello, welcome to my project. I'm here on behalf of Matt. He is a student at the University of New England. This is his creative effort to clarify and simplify the concept of classroom differentiation. Classroom differentiation. What's that and why are you in my chair? You don't know what that is. What a shame. And in regards to your chair I have conquered your office. It is now mine. Really? 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 Well, let's get on with the lesson. I have a theory to prove and a class to teach. I cannot be here all day listening to you in my chair. Did you forget that I'm a genius so this shouldn't take too long now, should it? I know a smart guy like yourself likes to learn new things. This should be very useful to you and your students. You see, understanding classroom differentiation is easy. All you have to do is remember to sprinkle in different techniques once in a while. Also, remember to ask your students for feedback. Are you ready? Who me? Of course I am ready get on with it. Explain this differentiation theory to me. Right then. You see not everyone's brain functions in the same way. There are many different brains and learning styles that must be taken into account when teaching our students. Of course. We are unique beings. I never thought of this before. This totally escaped me. Really? 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 But you are the smartest guy I know. However, if you don't cater to your students' needs then how can you be sure that students are getting the most out of your lessons? Are you sure that you use enough methods and styles of teaching to engage all of your students? Well I guess I can't. I never considered that varying teaching methods would play into the needs of my students. That's a very interesting concept but it sounds like a lot of work. Is there anything that would help to aid in my exploration of differentiation theory? We. 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 Of course. People have spent a lot of time working on differentiation theory and it is brilliant way to learn that by varying our teaching methods we see great response from students of all levels. Even the students as smart as you. You see. When people are excited and confident about learning they tend to gain more from the classroom experience. Really? 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 So by applying this theory of classroom differentiation to class we are being better teachers. And we are giving students the ability to reach their full potential by playing to their academic preferences. Yes. Now you are understanding the concept. There are so many things to accomplish using classroom differentiation. For example, you like experiments, right? I love experiments. Experiments are my favorite. I love to get my experiment on. Wait. I learn better using experiments. By experimenting I can prove things easily and it makes more sense in my brain. Differentiated instruction sounds useful and exciting. I told you it would. Now, it's very important you get to know your students and the methods they prefer when learning new material. In other words, what kind of learning styles best fit their needs. Once you do so you can apply those methods in your class. But remember, learn about the students first. Do this by conducting a survey or simply asking students about ways in which they feel comfortable learning. Let the students know that by using different methods to convey your material you should help all of them learn. Check online or with other faculty resources to gain a better understanding of specific tools used to aid teachers in differentiated instruction. Thanks for the insight into something I previously had not considered. One last thing. Yes. Get out of my office. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. Nope. Please. That's much better. I will now evacuate your chair and office. Thank you. You're welcome. Now you must buy me a cheeseburger.
Fine. Wait, there is one last thing. I need to thank Matt's University of New England class for, for watching us today. Thank you, class. Now off to the cafeteria for lunch.